The play we are looking at today is Exit and Illusion by Marita Bonner. It was written in 1929. The play consists of three characters, Dot, Buddy, and a mysterious stranger named Exit Man. In the passage I'm about to read, Dot has just told Buddy that she is going out on a date. Buddy. He better not show himself around here while I'm here. Dot. He can't never come when you're here. You're right he can't come here. Can't never come. He better be afraid of me. He ain't afraid of you. He's afraid of your love for me. <laughs> for crap's sake. My love? He ain't afraid of my love. He's afraid of my fist. It's almost time. It's almost time. Almost time for what? Him to come. Who? Exit. He ain't coming here. He ain't coming here. I'll knock his head clean off his shoulders if he comes here. He's coming. I'll kill you before he gets here and then kill him when he comes. Ah, oh, buddy, don't take on so. If you love me, he can't come in between your love and come to me. Damn you. Damn you, trying to throw this your love stuff out to camouflage and hide behind. I told you when we were fussing before you went to sleep that I don't believe you when you said everybody was lying on you. You said everybody was lying and you was telling the truth. Say you ain't never been with other men. No, I don't believe you. He breaks off and rushes to a drawer and snatches out a mean, ugly, blue-black, short pistol. Oh, oh, buddy, don't. You love me. Shut up. He lifts the gun as if he were going to bring it down, raking her with fire the length of her body. He stops. Nah, I don't love you, half-white rat. And he's got to come. I gotta go with him. The significance of this passage is vast. When we consider that it was written in 1929, but not first perform on stage until 2015 by the Hori Ghost Performing Company out of New York City, we must take into consideration the theater world's difficult history with black playwrights and often their subject matters ones of massage noir and prejudice, both outside of and within the community of color. Bonner describes Dot in the foreword as thin and pale. She writes that Buddy is blackly brown and a keen black man. She further describes the setting, the apartment they are in, as, quote, mixed, end quote, with elements of finery such as lingerie and makeup and well-worn items, ragged bottom chairs, newspapers, food. The idea of both the characters and the setting being mixed sets up the tension in this short and potent story. In the scene, we see Dot, a woman who is biracial, begging for love from Buddy. He refuses her love and instead refers to her as a, a half-white rat and accuses her of going out passing. His insults continue throughout the play, and we quickly see that Dot is experiencing massage noir, which is the double jeopardy prejudice against both her race and her gender. This is very present in her relationship with Buddy. As a woman of two races, Dot is struggling to fit in. The white community will not accept her. Buddy, who is a black man, will sleep with her, but won't say that he loves her, even when she says that it's the only thing to keep Exit Man from getting her. Buddy refuses Dot, and she has no choice except to go with Exit Man. We later discover that Exit Man is a symbol for death, and that Dot is crying out in her sleep for Buddy to say that he loves her or else she will die. In her dream, as in real life, Buddy pushes Dot away and doesn't realize what he has until she's gone. He won't say that he loves her, but he won't let her go to death. In the passage, he even pulls out a pistol, but does not shoot her. Again, Dot is being held hostage by Buddy and the circumstances of her being. Written at the tail end of the Harlem Renaissance, Exit and Illusion weaves a powerful narrative about black women. 
Marita Bonner's dynamic voice in her essays, plays, and short stories deserves to be studied and heard.